Man. What's up, everyone? We're the Continuity Crew. I'm Will. Uh, That's when. And aha, we're back. <laughs> I, it. I nailed it. First try. I swear. Uh, today we're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine, straight out of the movie theater. We are in a vehicle. Yeah. Um, not the normal set. He's stolen. Yeah, he yeah. stole it. Um. Yeah, well, I didn't say that. We're gonna talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. Immediate thoughts. And we'll see if we do more videos. We hope so. After this, it's been almost two years, probably. Has it? I don't know. I feel like I... I think it's probably been a year. Let's talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. It's the third one in the franchise. First one in the MCU. I'll Officially. MC, it's MCU, yeah. yeah. Um, it's still kind of loose. It's still... It's I feel like that's a spoiler, but it does You're watching this, yeah, it sucks. Um, but Deadpool, Wolverine. You get Deadpool's back in Disney... Um, I don't know, just get, Wolverine's back. You just want to like yeah. say fuck it and just do spoilers, just like right ahead, or do you just want quick review? Quick review. Yeah, just quick review. Um, it was fun. Yep. Let's fucking go. Yep. As the tagline for the movie was. Is that uh, really the tagline? They had it in a couple ads. I don't know if they stuck with that, but let's go for the PG. But like, let's fucking go. Um, I don't watch any. I the thing. I, I try trailer. I try to avoid stuff now. After, yeah. like, well, we haven't been making videos. I haven't been going to the theater as much. When the last movie was Oppenheimer. So yeah. Barbenheimer. The, Barbenheimer. We were going to do a video on that, but never did. Yeah, we I, never did. I feel like there's always a movie every couple of months where we're like, we should do a video on that. And we yeah. never do. But Deadpool, I will say, is kind of special to us. Because we've seen every single one opening day. The first... Sure. The first time, Wynn was the only one that could buy tickets because he was 17 and we were 16. <laughs> and so we snuck into the theater we're at now. That's true, yeah. Like, oh, let's go see it. And then the second one, I worked at this theater and yeah. where I was like, hey, Wynn, you want to go see the midnight showing once I get off? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. And now the third one. So full circle, I'm going to see it again like as soon as we're going And then we're going to see it again Sunday and maybe tomorrow. Some of those ones. But anyways, review. I mean, what did you think? I, I'm going to start with it. it was fun. I think it was fun. I mean, that was it. Like, that's that's usually what I think about these kinds of movies. I mean, at this point, the thing is, like, we've had so much shit, like, Marvel stuff over the... Yeah, years. it's... I mean, like, our, our last one was Black Panther, and there's probably been two or three in between there that we just haven't touched because it's, it's like... four. Probably. Yeah, I, it was a lot. Maybe go will look it up later, but yeah, it's... Nothing's really been like I can't believe we didn't do Guardians. There's been some really good stuff. Yeah, the, oh yeah. But yeah. scheduling and stuff were being. He's working. I'm in school. Uh, adult stuff. Yeah. You know. Growing up shit. <laughs> sure. Um. But He's yeah, like great. like one said, it was really fun. I think it was a great start. Hopefully, we get more Deadpool. Yeah. And Wolverine. I'm assuming with Secret Wars, allegedly both of the next Avengers are going to come out in the same year. So, uh, allegedly, I mean, that would surprise me. Yeah. That would, would be great because with the lull in superhero stuff, it's kind of oversaturation right now. Oh, but, speaking of that, yeah, this was refreshing. Somewhat. It was, it was refreshing. And I feel like that's just dead. Yeah. It's very refreshing because it's different. It, but it's also there are some scenes in the movie where it's like, oh shit, this is Disney Marvel, and I'm yeah. seeing blood and gore, and it's like that's pretty cool. I think the only any other. Broad statements we can say before. Uh, some of the jokes were pandering. It was too much. It's very. Some of it was. Yeah. Uh, um. A lot of exposition in the first yeah. half that felt almost pointless. Yeah. But it picks up in the second and third act, and it's really fun. Yeah. But again, it's just fun. That's it. Like yeah. it's no. You kind of turn off your brain. After it's a hundred percent a nostalgia movie, mm -hmm. and. I think that's what they were going for. So that's that works. I would say the that's probably like the most that's probably the only thing that they can like rely on is the nostalgia. Nostalgia with it. Hundred percent. Like twenty percent. Uh, twenty years of. Uh, it's Wolf Three. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Um. It was cool to see Hugh Jackman back. Hundred percent. The villain was okay. The villain was just there. Yeah. I mean, she wasn't like a. Backstory of it is cool for X Men people like Cassandra Nova. Yeah. That's like a big deal. I don't think that. I think we know that it's Cassandra Nova. I don't think that's a spoiler. Um, I think everyone suspected. That yeah. Was, so. At least. Um, but otherwise, it's, it's no Taylor Swift. That's not no Taylor Swift. I was surprised. You really wanted Taylor Swift. Well, I just thought 
so there the original rumor was she'd be like dazzler who's like a pop star superhero okay. like that's perfect that's funny yeah. very tongue-in-cheek but otherwise eh. um i swear i didn't see anything about uh, i didn't i didn't see anything about like that's anything just that had to do with taylor swift uh, it's just because blake lively and their friends her friends yeah gotcha. um otherwise though spoiler Let's just get to spoils. Let's go ahead and do ratings. Let's, ratings? Let's do it like this. Let's do ratings. So, if you don't remember, it's been a year or whatever. Um, we do two ratings. We do... Oh, God, what were they called? <laughs> I don't remember. Critical and entertainment. Okay. So, like, critically, yeah. what we thought of the movie yeah. as, like, a film. And yeah. then, how, like, what... Entertainment, fun, was it fun? What, what, yeah. And we've already said it's fun. So. Um, but, when, what would you give it out of ten, critically? A critical one would be like three or four. Three, not four. Yeah. Yeah. Out of ten, because like, the ten. thing is, it wasn't. Yeah. There's not really a linear story for it. I mean, mm-hmm. it just and it like is a... multiverse of linears out the window, but it's very throw Deadpool into a situation. You yeah. could have done this. Could have been an episode of Loki, yeah. almost yeah. like it. Like the... a really nice, like long episode. Yeah, I think TVA was shown in the trailers again. Trying not to spoil it because then we'll talk about spoilers. But for me, critical. I'll give it a five. Five. Yeah. It's like middle of the road, like movie watching. Yeah. Like if you just look at MCU, I guess like a 10 would be like Winter Soldier or something. Winter like, Soldier. It's yeah. like an actual movie. This is like middle of the road where it's like, okay, well, you're kind you, of. Just, you, they just kind of threw Deadpool and Wolverine into like something. A situation. A situation. Which is comic. Through it all. So, um, but entertainment value, I'll say I'm going to give it a nine. I give it a seven. That's fair. I'm going to give it a 9 only because, like you were saying, some of the jokes were very yeah. pandering, even for Deadpool. But it, even still, like, I think it was it was fun. It, it it's was fun. If you have been a fan of Marvel for all your life, like us, yeah. it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty awesome to see, like, all this X-Men stuff happen in, like, MCU. Yeah. The, the bleeding yeah. together. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, it's like everything else about it. And, and the only real gripe that I have with it is just the jokes. I think it's fine. Too much. Yeah, I mean, there was it got some good laughs. This, it did. This movie is on track. Uh, uh, reports say it's going to be the biggest R-rated movie ever, which I think it's either Deadpool two and Joker or Deadpool what? one oh. are like the highest. In terms of gross, gross. I think are. I think Deadpool one and then Joker. Yeah, I think so because they made the joke. I think in Deadpool two about yeah. it, but um, yeah, it was fun. So yeah. nine, seven, I normally did the average totals or whatever, but my brain's not going to do that right now. So it like, works in an office, guys. <laughs> um, so, well, it'd be eight for uh, entertainment and yeah. then what, like th- four and a half for. Yeah. So that's not too bad. It's not bad. I, it's... it's not the worst Marvel movie. No. Oh, I did watch Captain Marvel. Like the new one? The new one. Oof. Yeah. I think we saw that. I don't remember if we did. No, we th- we that was the one of the last movies we really talked about because it was like, oh, should we? And I didn't go see it. You went and saw it. I did. I waited till it was on streaming, and I swear to God, literally the next day it went to Disney Plus. That's how long. I, I didn't even know that quality. Yeah. And good there's some CGI in this that was kind of iffy, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I think some of the slow motion shots, especially some stuff. But otherwise. Let's just talk spoilers. We're gonna marvel yeah, out. Fun. That's pretty much the review. Yeah. But let's just talk spoilers from here on. Out. Spoiler, spo- spoilers, spoilers, spoilers from here on out. Yeah, oh, <laughs> well, I mean not outdated. What is it? Out of uh, touch. Rusty. Yeah, we're a little rusty, but it's fine. Um, we're a bit Ohio. <laughs> is that what the kids say these days? Mm. Um, you're older than me, so you know. Your your brain's already fully developed. Yeah. I've got like six more months, and then I'm screwed. Yeah, no, you're screwed. You're <laughs> fucked. After that, you're just like going. It's down in from here. But where where do you want to start with sport? Let's mm. let's start cameos. Let's let's get to cameos in a second. Okay. Uh, Wolverine, Deadpool. You see Wolverine in his full glory, yellow and blue Big. costume. Um. You see more Wolverines. That might have been yeah. my favorite cameo, even though it's still a Hugh Jackman. All those cameos of like different versions of them. Yep. I was it was pretty awesome. It was pretty cool. It was like watching a comic book. Yeah, seeing those versions of Wolverine, yeah. it's like you'll probably never get certain ones, 
but you kind of just did in this movie. There's probably four or five of them. Um, I wasn't expecting and, that. Well, and then I said we wouldn't talk cameos, but that's like this movie. This and movie. the Deadpool even makes, like Ryan Reynolds even makes jokes about in the movie. Yeah. Like gratuitous cameos. Uh, Henry Cavill. What was Wolverine? Was Wolverine. Was cool. So the spoiler I said, I said I saw a spoiler to win before we went in, yeah. was that he was going to be Magneto in some oh, random okay. scene. And I was like, that actually looks really good. Yeah. But then I like, I was like, I'm done with social media. That was a couple of days ago. Um, but I was like, eh, that kind of looked AI-ish. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I will say the only ca- the cameo that I was talking to you about before was that someone said it was going to be Blake Lively. That she was gonna be a Deadpool. She was that la- yeah, lady pull. Yeah, lady lady pull was. I couldn't tell at first if it was Blake Lively yeah. or uh, I thought that was Taylor Swift yeah. actually, um, but no, it was Blake Lively. Said in the credits. That was a, the only thing that I saw about it. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh no, I don't want to get other stuff from the yeah. anymore because every everybody else got to to see it before we did. Yeah, because um, like other parts of the country. Uh, not country like all over the world yeah like if this was the world this was if this was philippines i'd be watching it like two weeks before yeah yeah um so let's just go timeline of cameos real quick yeah Uh, i think the first one besides wolverine and all the other wolverines was it a certain captain of the United States who (laughs) was not the captain of america no he it was in fact Chris Evans as Johnny Storm yeah. from Fantastic Four, which I dude, I mean, so he's rumored to be like very early on in the new Captain America. Yeah. I, it's fine. I think he, that got such a good reaction. It's fine it if was. he comes back to yeah. as Captain America. Um, otherwise, from there, that was pretty cool that Johnny. It was Johnny Storm, right? I definitely wasn't thinking. I was that. not expecting it at all. Yeah. I thought we'd get some offshoot of Captain America, but then it was full blown. Like, Johnny Storm. Yeah. Um, then you had a bunch of old X Men villains, which yep. was really cool to see. You had Toad, Juggernaut, yep. Sabretooth, Psylocke. Uh, some of those we could even talk about beforehand because they they kind of show them. The that, some of those were in the yeah. trailer. Uh, Flame Guy, uh, Pyro. Pyro. Yeah. Yeah. Those are all really cool to see, but they weren't like mind blowing or anything. It's like uh, it's like nobody's like a diehard Sabretooth fan from. Uh, a lot of people did say it was like. I think a lot of them that were fans of X-Men that were like, oh, I'm so excited for Sabretooth. I, I wasn't. <laughs> but, well, okay, so I wanted, like, Leif Schreiber and that Sabretooth. I can't remember the actor. Okay. Uh, but, like, seeing them, like, together would have been yeah. funny for yeah. some joke. I'm surprised Ryan uh, Deadpool doesn't make a joke. Like, yeah. you're not Leif Schreiber or something. Yeah. But, um... From... They played him up, I will say. that In the trailers, they did play him up. Yes. Every single villain in there. Yes. But for... We literally only see them for maybe they like are five very, or ten minutes. Yeah, they're not uh, probably like five. Like maybe. in terms of like screen time, match, match yeah. five. Um, like the villains didn't play much of a part. It really is a Deadpool and Wolverine movie yeah. where it's just them. Yeah. After that, I think we get that uh, the big ones. I would say that's the next ones I can think of. Um, would the, I think are the big ones yeah. because it really does. They say it in the movie. It gives some of these characters like an ending. Yeah. But also, I'm like. How they kind of got like shoved away. We could see them again. Yeah. So you have. They, they had an open ending. Yes. Oh God. I'm Wesley Snipes is Blade. Yeah, that Huge. was surprising. Boom. That was so awesome. Got, got some sound effects. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but that was my favorite for sure. I'm a no. diehard Blade fan, and there was even a throwaway of like a Blade Three. Ryan Reynolds was in it. Oh. And so he's like, "You never liked me," and that yeah. that was like real life stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, because Wesley Snipes was kind of an asshole. I didn't think they'd bring him back. It, that sure it, that... like giving him that ending so they can do the next Blade. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Uh, God, I can't. Gardner, right? Je- uh, Jennifer... Jennifer Garner. Yes, as Electra. Electra. I was hoping no Ben Affleck as Daredevil, but they mentioned him, so I'll take it. And I then in this I think guess. I think this one will be maybe the biggest for a lot of people yeah. is Channing Tatum. It was for- is finally Gambit. Gambit, yeah. Finally Gambit, which was so cool to see. Um, you know what was weird about this whole thing, but like Gambit was that I remember the news coming out. Yeah, I remember the day it was coming out, and I remember who I was watching. It was like uh, Internet Today, 
if you don't remember, they were ETC back then. They were part of Machinima. Okay. And they were reporting on it. And they were like, he's finally Gambit. They found the Gambit. They're going to make a Gambit yes. movie. And then they had this whole roster of people for Fan Four Stick. And then, I, yeah, I, I kind of remember it, but I just remember it being in development for Yeah. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> I was so excited for it because it's like, oh, Louisiana, that's a cool place. It, it would like, be pretty cool. But knowing Fox, it would have fucked it up. Oh, God. I think it was very much... Well, the one of the post credit scenes, or yeah, one of them was like kind of a goodbye to Fox and all these yeah, characters. Yeah, this is really cool. Which I don't think it's necessarily goodbye. Disney could throw out money. I think they were for, just making. Yeah, it's like it was played Good Riddance or whatever yeah. by Green Day. It's very much a like graduation <laughs> song. <laughs> um, otherwise, who else did we get? X twenty three. X twenty three. Yes, she was part of the group of kind of misfit. Um, heroes that we see the the offshoot yes Fox shit yes okay so that i have a problem with that x23 one. not a problem but i sort of pseudo knew she, she was yeah she was in actually one of the newer trailers i'm like yeah. why would you do that yeah and i saw like a selfie of hugh jackman and her mm. and i thought that was like yeah it's coming yeah um who else do we see the girl the the girl from tv uh, from Loki. Loki TVA. Yeah, Loki's like... I don't remember her name. <laughs> yeah. But I think, overall, it was a fun movie. I say yeah. that again. I feel like that's... This is uh, what these movies are. That's, that's all it really needs to be, though. It doesn't need to be pandering. I mean, like you said, some of the jokes were... But some of the whole movies can yeah. be, where it's just like, oh, let it be over. Yeah. Um, other... I'd say post-Endgame, this is probably up there. It's up there for sure. I'd I'd say Guardians Three I believe was, was the best of oh. post in game era. Because Thunder was it Love, Love and Thunder. I wish it didn't, but it, it did. Yeah, I did. I mean, everybody had high hopes for that because they thought like Guardians of the Galaxy was gonna be. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I saw that one at the Chinese theater in L.A. I did. I avoided everything with that movie, and I went in blind, and it made me enjoy it. More, you but... you went to watch a shitty movie. I know. It's like the I Chinese went, theater. It's like I went and saw a Marvel movie at the yeah. Chinese theater. Isn't that so cool? It was <laughs> Thor: Love and Thunder. Ending wise, I really liked the ending. Um, Deadpool and Wolverine have their character arcs in this movie, and then they finally yeah. have a kind of big face-off with Cassandra Nova, and it's like, they need to save the world, and then they kind of fight over who's going to save the world, yeah. and they have this, like, bro moment. I was like, that's pretty cool, with Madonna yeah. playing over yeah. it, and it's really fun. Um, Wolverine it, being, like, I uh, like that they didn't touch the Wolverine from Logan. Yeah, it was just a new one. It was, just, like, brand new Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, oh, Wolverine in the Mask. Yeah, that was cool. It yeah. was cool. Had some issues with it. It was very touch and go. Sometimes I'm like, that looks ridiculous. Just, and then, <laughs> but then they do the thing where they just CGI clean it up, and he's pretty much a CGI character. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that looks good. Yeah. Um, that looks badass. I think that one was just, for some reason, it looked like it was looser. Yeah. It was just yeah. way too big. I think it, they should have just skinned it down a little bit. Little, <sighs> fine. The Wolverine helmet that they show at the end of the Wolverine, the movie... Yeah. That would be maybe closer. This one was just, it was badass. It was badass. That, this movie was fun and it was badass. Just seeing all sorts of stuff that you never thought you'd see in a Disney Marvel movie. And it all comes together in a beautiful, I'd say, mess. <laughs> it was just fun. It was very go, go, go. But like I said, after that first half of or third of exposition was rough for me. Uh, like, not going to lie. But, yeah. To me, this is like the start of like phase five. Everything before it. Well, like, what it phase are we even in? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say phase five. But I'd say go see it in theaters. It's fun. If you are a Deadpool fan or Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. X-Men, Fox franchise. Like, go see it. It's is fun. A fan for them? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, yeah, I just... like, up until maybe the last two X-Men movies, I loved them all. Like, I, X-Men, oh, God, because it was, Dark Phoenix was sucked. It's awful. New Mutants was that the one? Yeah, I actually really liked. It. I liked it. I don't I know why it. people didn't like it so much. I I was some. It, I enjoyed it. The first time I watched it, I was like, "That's not what I expected." And then, yeah. like looking back on it, I'm like, "It's kind of fun though," yeah. because yeah. there's no like new ca- or returning character, no. new people, and I'm like, "This Disney I can see them." Shoot, like for official action. And wasn't it like Disney had to put out that movie like yeah, in the country? Yeah. 
Because it was like the last bit of like Fox stuff yeah. that they had to like really. And it's like, get it out. Go, <laughs> go. Um, other than that, Deadpool, go see it in theaters. Thank you for watching. I don't remember how to outro this video. Either. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Will. That's when. I'm kind of disappointed that it sounds like shit. I'm really sorry. That's fine. <laughs> we'll fix it in post, right? He'll <laughs> fix it in post. Oh, yeah. I got a new editor, by the way. Like, not an editor person, but like a new software for it. Uh, I don't know how to fucking use it. This video might come out in <laughs> December. But you Shut know, the fuck up. No, did, I get it wrong. I we did it, it. We did it. And hopefully more to come. We'll see. Um, yeah. We talked about setting up like one day maybe a filming every week or something it'd be fun every now and then yeah why not because like i want i want to do future continuity crew right here what's coming we don't know but i would like just to talk movies like we don't have to go see like an appointment viewing like this yeah just what we watched that week or That's true. like what's coming out movie news i think that'd just be fun and maybe make some stuff too i think the only reason why they that we stop they should know that we only stopped because Marvel stopped making good movies and we were <laughs> no, that, That's literally what was pushing us through. It's like we went and saw all sorts of movies, all sorts of shit, yeah. just to wait for the next Marvel yeah. movie. And then they got bad too. And we stopped. <laughs> uh, they stopped paying our checks. <laughs> yeah, paid. Um, anyways, paid. thank you all for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. Have a good time.